Hello and welcome to the 67th tutorial in the Bootstrap 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at nesting media objects. We'll be using the source code from the 64th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have media object set up, but like any decent blog or commenting system, the ability to nest objects is invaluable. For example, if a user replies to a comment, the general standard across the web is to nest the reply. Basically it's indented. Uh, so the user, when they're reading or they're just quickly skimming through it, they know this block of comments, for example, is or belongs to this other comment, or this blog post belongs to this other blog post, etc. etc. So, if we just open up our index file, we'll show you what you need to do to implement it. So, if we just scroll down, so we've got several different elements. So we've got the media element right here, and we inside here we have obviously the anchor tag, which has our thumbnail and the media border, media border, media body, and so forth. It's really simple. All you have to do is change all of the div class media tags to list items. So I was going to put list, change the end tag to a list item, change this to a list item. Of a list item and just to show you let's zoom in and show you the last one this will turn into a list item so if we just scroll down okay no you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna undo all these changes I'm going to leave this as it is so you can see how these look and I'm going to create a whole new media object. So if I scroll down and I go to the end of this media object, I'm going to create a whole new one so you can see how to set it up from scratch. So what you need to do is have an unordered list and the unordered list will have a class of media list. We're not going to be programming any of the CSS for this is already built in which is always good when stuff is built in list item and this is gonna have a class of media and inside here we're gonna have a anchor tag which is gonna take a just a blank ahref you can make it do whatever you want and it's gonna have a class though of media dash left and then inside here we're going to have an image and that's going to have a source we already have the source right here basically this so if we just copy and paste it I'm, I'm not going to bother putting an alt tag but you can do and it's recommended that you do anyway so let's just sort out the formatting for this oops it easy so now that we have our anchor tag set up outside the anchor tag but still within the list item we want to basically add our media body so if we do div class equals media and inside here what we're gonna add sorry I'm going, I'm jumping the gun a little bit. Uh, this needs to be media body. I was just about to nest the other item then. My bad, so it needs to be media body. I'm just going to simply put H4. You can use whatever header type you want. Let me put class media heading. Again, this is all sort of built in, so we don't need to do anything. I was going to put media heading. And indent this, and then here we're just gonna put a random paragraph. Mm, actually, yeah, I'll copy this random paragraph. So if we just copy and paste this and put it within the p tags, sort out of the formatting of this. We can just leave this as it is. Doesn't really matter. Actually, you know what? Let's just fix it up. Might as well get it done. Mm, 
Yep, that is looking all good now. So, what we're going to do, still within, actually I've indented this one too much. Sort that. Still within the actual media body, we're, we're going to add a new media object, and that's going to be our nested media object. So if we put div, and this is going to be a class, I think you guessed it, media, and inside here we're going to have, basically we're just going to copy and paste this, because it's just going to be our thumbnail, obviously you can change the URL accordingly instead of using the same one, but just to make it simpler, we're just going to have the same one. Um, outside of the anchor tag, but still within this media div, we're going to add a media body. And for the media body, what we're going to do is we're simply just going to copy and paste this. Indent all of this. Now let's just sort out the formatting. So this is the nested media object. And now if we just scroll down, what we're gonna do, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look, see where we got. We got the H4 tag, we got the random paragraph, and now what we're gonna do is add another nested media object within this. So to do that, outside of the P tag, you're gonna put div class equals media and then within the actual media class itself first of all you need this okay the thumbnail again you can change the thumbnail if you want to but this is just for demonstration purposes and then inside here we're going to have a media body And now we're just going to close off the data. I think it's all done now. So let's just make sure we've got all the details closed off. That looks okay to me. It is a lot to take in. Um, so it was good that I started from scratch instead of trying to recreate or update this one so it was a nested media object. And the best way to make sure you get your head around it is to watch this tutorial and then check out the source code as well and there'll be links in the description so you can see how it works so let's just run this now and hopefully it works so index the html scroll down there we go we have our first three media objects but we don't care about that one we care about this one right here the formatting's a little off here i mean the gap because we're using it on order list you can add some padding or some margins that's not much of an issue, but as you can see, we have our nested media object and our second nested media object. So this is like, imagine this is a, imagine this is a comment, and this is a reply to that comment, and then somebody's like, I want to reply to this comment, and this will be a reply to that comment. So you can easily see the flow of the conversation. That's it for nested media objects. The next tutorial will cover list groups. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. All the requests for code will be in the description. To see over 800 completely free videos just like this one, visit sonarlearning.co.uk. Sign up today for free and have the ability to take private notes against every single video and access, access it for free anywhere in the world. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.